Hello again. It's a, fo a follow up video to making a, a stop out of a leather belt. Um, I showed you this leather belt compared to this leather belt, which turned out not really to be leather, I don't think. I'm not sure what's going on there. It's fake leather. We've got this nice belt from the shop. I'm going to cut it up. Now, I like to use when I'm uh, stopping. I like to use my sharpening stone because it's smooth and flat and hard so it just helps it back in. I don't have one stuck to pieces of wood, I don't do it that way. But I've just got to cut this belt, I'm going to cut it from there, the length of that and a tiny touch more. I need to cut it off where that hole is. So using a little little Kershaw today, Kershaw Ace, a uh, nice little knife. Let's see if we can cut through this leather. There we go, nice clean cut. Now I'm going to measure from there to there. And what I'll do, I'll just take the knife, I'll just cut through the leather like so. Another clean cut, sharp little knife that. So now I've got the uh, I've got the piece of leather like so. That's going to be the strop like so. You get the polishing compound that you've seen in a previous video. Uh, half a half a kilogram bar. So we just rub that onto the belt like so. Because you're using your your flattening stain, your, your six thousand grit side of this double sided one, because this is flat and very hard, it makes the perfect backing. The perfect backing to put your strop um, to put your strop on. So when you strop, you've got to give. You've only got the give of the softness of the leather, which is almost negligible. Now that's going on there better than I thought it would. It didn't go on that one all that well. As you can see, you can see it's all patchy and it hasn't covered it at all really. Although it works at a pinch. We just uh, load the leather up with the polishing compound, in this case green. We do they're all different colours, some are for plastic, some are for jewellery. Jewellers Rouge and white diamonds or something, the black one's quite coarse. The blue one's for plastics I believe, but don't quote me on that. So we give that a nice covering. Now you've got yourself a home or a strap rather. So that goes on there, that goes on there like so, nice and flat. And then you, you take your knife that you've just cut something with, hone it. So there you go. Dead simple. But yeah, if you if you are going to make one that with leather belt, make sure it's a proper leather belt, as I referred to in my previous video. Although actually I'll probably just join these two videos together and leave it at that, so ignore that comment. I mean yeah you can you can you can happily happily glue this to a piece of wood or something but as you can see it's not moving. The stones hold it in place and you just back and forth. And off we go. I've got a piece of paper somewhere. Where did that go? There we are. So yeah, 
simple way old leather belt I've still got oh I didn't show you I've still got all that there and that so as you can see I've got four more stops there another three stops there really one two three and this came with this belt from the charity shop it's a uh, a cool little belt buckle. I'll probably have to get my money back on that. Take that off, sell it to someone, or give it to someone as a present. I'm not going to weigh it myself because it's a bit, bit bling. But um, yeah, I should get, I should get my money back for that anyway. So, so there you go. Oh, I'm just going to just cut this for you. Sharp this little one. See if we can, we should be able to try that again. Clearly, patterns this week. Yeah, so strap that with leather belt. Just a little bit of fun. Thanks for your time again. Hope to see you again. Bye.